Hello traders, it's Thursday, October the 6th, and here is Options XO's London Review. The ISM non-manufacturing PMI data on Wednesday was better than expected. The outcome created more speculation that the Federal Reserve will raise its interest rate. The ADP non-farm employment change number, however, was negative. Today, the US releases weekly unemployment claims data. Tomorrow are the official non-farm employment change statistics. Wall Street turned in moderate gains on Wednesday and the US dollar traded in range. It was another positive day of trading on Wednesday from the Nikkei index. The yen extended its selling against the US dollar and is near important resistance levels. The Nikkei has provided traders with a good short-term trend and the yen has shown that risk appetite has signs of life. China remains on a national holiday. In early trading this morning, the Nikkei has produced moderate gains. European indexes traded in negative territory on Wednesday. The European Central Bank warned that it would like to curtail its quantitative easing program. The ECB statement put a damper on equities. Today, the EU will publish its Retail Purchasing Managers Index and the ECB will release its monetary policy meeting accounts. The UK services PMI yesterday was better than expected. The euro and pound have remained in a tight range against the US dollar. Gold saw its value decline again on Wednesday, although not with the force that it sold off on Tuesday. Crude oil traded in a consolidated range after coming up against resistance levels. Both gold and crude oil have the potential to become volatile if the US jobs data on Friday has a surprise outcome. The EU will present its retail PMI reading in the morning at 8.10 GMT. The ECB will then publish its monetary policy meeting accounts at 11.30 GMT. In the afternoon, the US will release its weekly unemployment claims at 12.30 GMT. Thank you for watching. Have a good trading day and we'll see you again soon.